What's happening, everybody? Jay Shockblast here, and here we are in Marvel Heroes. And uh, you know, something that's been asked of me is uh, who are some of the characters I would like to see in Marvel Heroes. So as it stands, there's already a huge eclectic lineup uh, for Marvel Heroes. You know, you can just walk around hey, the tower what's here, got that I and you're going to see so many Other characters are already look, here. You got you know, and, Kate uh, Pride, you got Sanity. Silver Surfer, Deadpool, uh, you got Sunspot, you got um, Rogue, you know, Scarlet Witch, um, you know, Venom, you've got Iron Man, uh, you've got Black Panther. So, I mean, you know, Doctor Doom, there's just so many characters already in this game. And uh, it's really a tough task to sit here and say, hey, this is absolutely, you know, the best character that's missing and stuff like that. Um, you know, there are characters that are in this game as kind of side characters that aren't even playable. You know, you can walk around the tower, for instance, and, you know, here you got Jessica Jones, hey there. you know, just kind of hanging out. Uh, you can go over here, you have Jarvis. You, know, you can go over here, well, She-Hulk is obviously in the game now. Um, but, you know, you can go down here. Well, we have Moondragon back there. Out here, you have Spider-Woman. Uh, used to be Valkyrie hanging out out here. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's a lot of characters that, some way or another, you have Moondragon, uh, Jocasta, um... <laughs> You know, you've got, um, you know, Hank Pym out here, even though he's in the game now, and Wonder Man. Uh, you know, you got Iron, or, uh, War Machine over there. You got Cleo over here. So, you know, there's just a lot of different characters that are somewhere or another in the game. What I think I've done is I feel like I've found five characters that I would love to see in the game that in no way, shape, or form are in the game right now that I can think of and haven't been announced yet. Okay, so one of my characters actually just just got announced, but I don't care. I want to play as him, and we'll get to that in a minute. So, uh, without any further ado, uh, I kind of walked around as Deadpool because Deadpool is uh, pretty much my favorite comic book character, and um, I felt like that, that was a good way to kind of introduce him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with characters uh, that I feel like associate with these these characters. And uh, these are going to be my top five characters I would like to see in Marvel Heroes. And again, the caveat being that they haven't been speculated or announced as characters that are about to be. She totally just stole my power. That jerk. So basically, uh, characters that I'd like to see that I left out of the list are characters that I've, I've seen or, you know, are team-ups or um, characters that are already in it. Uh, Wasp probably would have been a, a very high pick for me. Um, you know, Quicksilver, um, another one, Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, the new Miss Marvel. I left her off because I feel like she's going to be in the game inevitably. I left Archangel off because I feel like he is going to be in there as well, even though that's a character I would love to play as. Um, so those are a couple characters off the top of my head that I did not include because they're pretty much about to be in the game in some way, shape, or form anyway. And like I said, my list has one character that I just, I couldn't resist. I had to have them in there. And, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and check out my top five. Alright, at number five, as much as it pains me to use this costume, no it's not. Jane Foster. It is Angela, the uh, quote unquote sister of Thor. Um, so, I mean, they kind of, uh, I'm pretty sure, I don't really know all the backstory of Angela. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I do. But I have under the impression that she comes from the Spawn universe originally, and uh, Marvel got the rights for her, something along those lines. But in any event, uh, one of the big reasons I really feel like I, I hate this version of Thor, uh, Jane Foster pretending to be Thor, is that, you know, I'm all for, in the, the point I've made all along, by the way, I, I love the idea of there being a very powerful, 
you know, Asgardian female that, you know, we bring to the forefront. And I guess I just kind of always felt like when they introduced Angela and made her such a big part of Original Sin, um, you know, that was their opportunity to really focus on, on her. They could also celebrate, you know, kind of bringing this character back and bring her to the Marvel Universe. Um, I really felt like that was a really good opportunity uh, for Marvel Comics. And I'm really just, I know that they've definitely still done a lot with her, but, you know, that would have been to me a character they could have really focused on and, and really helped establish a lot, even, even more so. And why I really just didn't understand the whole, you know, let's get on the view thing. That's, that's really why I, I have such a hard time with, with Jane Foster is, I feel like they sold their souls to the view, you know, ultimately. So, again, I'm not really, like, completely opposed, I've never been opposed to female characters or strong, powerful female characters or anything of that, like, it's just, you've got so many great ones to choose from. Another one that I really could have, uh, you know, included as well is Lady Sith, you know, like, those are really just two characters that are really fantastic, I think would have done a really good job. And, uh, you know, Angela, I know she's been kind of into that, you know, so I, this might actually be a bit of a stretch. Um, you know, she's been up for some votes and stuff like that. I don't think she won, but um, I, I feel like she's going to be a priority. Inevitably, she probably will be in the game. Um, but, you know, I, I honestly, I want to make sure I did at least get a female character on here. And it kind of came down to her or Rachel Summers, but... I don't know. I don't really think that Rachel Summers would offer anything overly different than, uh, you know, her her parents. Um, so I kind of, I, I, and I just like Angela. I thought I enjoyed her run with Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, I just think she's a, a really solid character. And I really would have loved to have seen them focus a little bit more on her. So that is my pick for number five. It is Angela. And, uh... Now I will retire this costume and never use it again. Haha. <laughs> so let's move on to number four. All right, at number four, we've got a little bit of shield action going on here uh, with Black Widow and Agent Coulson. And I have to say, this is kind of cheating because even though it's number four, I'm going to actually mention three different characters that have popped up on the TV show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And, um... I think any of these three would just be, you know, really good choices. Um, number one of the three being uh, Quake, uh, played by Chloe Bennett. Uh, you know, uh, Daisy Johnson, if you will. Sky, you know, whatever you want to call her. Um, I I think that you know she's really coming into her own as the show as, on the show. And I'll be honest with you, I actually find myself enjoying Agents of Shield quite possibly more than I am Arrow or Flash so far this season. It, it's been really good. Like, honestly, all four of the major comic shows have been really good so far. Um, but uh, I think that, um, you know, Quake would be just a really good choice. Um, obviously, you know, a close second would be uh, Mockingbird, uh, Bobby Morse, uh, played by Adrian Palaki. Uh, Palicki. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Um, you know, Mockingbird is, uh, they're going to be, there's rumors that there's going to be a spinoff uh, with her featuring her, I should say. Um, so, you know, bringing her into the fold with, uh, you know, different costumes and stuff like that uh, that she's had in the comics and, you know, obviously an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. version uh, for both her and Quake would be really cool. And then third, um, you know, honestly, when I started doing the video or started doing my list, uh, this was actually the person that I picked. And I, I kept thinking, you know, of him being on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., some of the cool stuff they've done with him uh, in the comics since then. And that is Deathlock. Um, you know, he was in the series a little bit here and there. And um, I don't know if he really has anything that he does that's, you know, anything different than what you know, Punisher, War Machine, you know, do kind of be like a quasi mix of the two, 
you know, he's got his uh, neat little tricks. He's basically Marvel cyborg in a way. Um, but I, I really feel like, you know, an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. themed, um, you know, four or three piece there, any of those three, uh, would be really cool additions to the game, uh, whether it be, you know, as team ups or, you know, hopefully playable characters. Uh, so that is my way of sliding three people into one slot at number four. I'm just going with the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. theme. So, uh, we'll move on to number three. Alright, so at number three, I gotta go Cosmic. And, uh, that is why I have Star-Lord here. Uh, even though I don't know that he's really necessarily the best choice to associate with my number three choice. And that is Black Bolt, uh, the king of the Inhumans. Inhumans are such a huge deal right now in um, in Marvel. Um, you know, they've, they've really done a, a big job of kind of carrying them and, and bringing them to the forefront. Uh, even on the before mentioned Agents of Shield, um, you know, that's been a really big deal uh, in the Marvel universe. Um, so, I really think that, you know, Black Bolt has just a, a really awesome, you know, set of powers, and, you know, his ability to have, like, the, I mean, he's very, you know, physically tough, he can fly, he can do all those things, and then, you know, he's got, like, those kind of screaming powers, and I, I know they're not going to really necessarily translate um, into the, the game completely, you have to have a, a bunch of variations of it. But, uh, I really feel like he'd be a fun choice. I mean, of course, um, you know, they've, they've been focusing on Karnak and Medusa as well. Um, so, you know, if you want to have either of them in his place, then so be it. But, I really feel like Black Bolt is the face of humanity. And, uh, I really think that he would be a fun and awesome choice uh, at uh, by number three. So, uh, let's move on to number... Deuce. Oh hey, number two, it's Deadpool again, and uh, I'll bet you never know which character I'm associating with him uh, by using him here. Um, so this is the character that kind of breaks my rule of not really announced uh, or already kind of announced as being in the game. And also kind of breaks my rule of focusing on heroes, uh, because this is a character that I don't think you can really associate as a hero in any way, shape, or form. He's pretty much pure villain, but I feel like including Carnage in the game kind of opens up that can of worms where you can have him as a playable character. I don't care if he's going to be a raid boss. Thanos. I need to play as Thanos. I think he's one of my... He's probably my favorite bad guy in all of comic books. Um, he is just such a powerful character. And um, I cannot fathom how cool it would be. Like what his power set would be. All those kind of things. It would just be so awesome to use him. I always end up late here. But it would just be so epic to play as Thanos in Marvel Heroes. Um, he currently has a comic right now with, uh, you know, Deadpool vs. Thanos, okay, as they probably nap. fight over death. Um, but I'm sure that's going to be a fantastic book. One of the few books I'm looking forward to in this new, all-new, all-different, crummy Marvel Universe. Um, but yeah, Thanos, I, I'm really looking, I don't do raids in this game, I don't, I don't play with enough people, and I don't know, it's, it's not really my bag. But, um, so I'm afraid I'm never going to get to see Thanos, you know, like, uh, it, the one thing, I don't, I, again, I don't do raids very often, but I just feel like maybe it's a little harder, uh, than I, I would like it to be to, to kind of get involved in them. Did I really miss that already? Jeez. Um, so, one thing that was kind of abundantly clear as I talked about the Inhumans, and as I'm talking about Thanos, I really, really can't wait to get into space in this game. Like, I don't know. I know there's going to be, like, a scroll invasion uh, coming. But uh, I really wish there was, like, a space 
type battle atmosphere in this game. Uh, so, I mean, I'm sure they're gonna work that in uh, with Thanos in the raid, but uh, I'd love a level where you can play. I know there's gonna be like a Savage Land free roam, but you know, get us into space, guys. I mean, I know this is a long, long term game, but that'd be pretty cool. So, anyway, uh, number two on my list Thanos, the Mad Titan. And uh, now let's move on to number one. If you know anything about me, there's a good chance you may be able to guess who my number one choice is. All right, in number one, we have Darkhawk. So obviously, as you can see, uh, we've got you know Nova, Richard Ryder here, Nova Prime, I should say, um, as uh, as my representative, Darkhawk, and that's because in the whole uh, War of Kings, Realm of Kings. Uh, Dark Hawk had his big comeback, and uh, the Marvel Comics promptly squashed it, and uh, ended up, you know, floundering him in the world of Avengers Arena, and uh, really disappointing to not have him, you know, get his opportunity to come back. I really feel like, in so many ways, Dark Hawk is is such an interesting character. Um, you know, he's got the look. He's got the, the move set. He's got the skills. You know, I, I just really thought he was such a great and fascinating character. And I don't know why I'm not entering Age of Ultron, but whatever. Um, I don't get it. I don't know, like, I don't know how this character doesn't get a bigger opportunity. Um, you know, I just, I feel like he's just perfect. Um, just really the perfect everything about him. Like, is the type of thing that, you know, kids would like. You know, he's he's got that kind of War Machine kind of feel to him. Iron Man feel to him. You know, especially as he's evolved his armor. You know, having the other uh, Talon... Um, uh, I forget what his name was. But uh, there's another... or One of the other kind of Dark Hawk type people um, that kind of got involved and, like, posed as him to, uh, to kill Lalandra. Um, you know, like, having them help him evolve his armor so that he can, you know, really use it to his full potential, you know, that was their opportunity. Oh, here we go. <laughs> We've detected uh, Ultron up ahead at Avengers Mansion. So, yeah, that was, move ahead I felt like that was their opportunity first. to, Stopping um, Ultron is important. you know, lives take use him to his fullest, uh, really kind of bring him out into the, uh, forefront, uh, as a character that, um, you know, everybody could like and, and know more about, you know, not not the most popular character in the grand scheme of things, you know, but for me, growing up, Darkhawk was one of my favorite characters. Like, I, I will never forget, you know, going to the comic book store, I don't know if these do, and, um, and seeing, you know, Darkhawk number one is one of the first comic books I ever bought. And, um, you know, so obviously for me, this is a, a very personal choice. Um, but, you know, I just, it's just one of those things. Like, I, it's one of those characters, like Rich Rider, that, you know, Marvel spent a lot of time building up and, and you know, trying to make into something. And then they just kind of abandoned them. And I never really understood that. Uh, why, what is this all over here? I haven't been over here. Um, so, I'd love to see him get his opportunity uh, to, you know, become, you know, a major player in the Marvel Universe. You know, I really feel like everything about him is is just an awesome, you know, kind of deal. And, uh, you know, I mean, with this all new, all different, all the time kind of deal, um, I just really feel like great opportunity to, uh, to bring this character back. I think it would be a lot of fun to play as in Marvel Heroes. You know, I don't necessarily know that, uh, you know, he, I mean, I want to play as him, obviously, I and mean, that's just me, but I, I think a lot of people would enjoy him. Even if you brought him in as a team-up, I think he'd be a lot of fun. Um, I just, I can't rave enough about Darkhawk. Uh, I want him to be in everything. I want him to be in the new Lego Marvel game. 
Um, I, I, I used that just for the hell of it. I didn't really have to. Um, but, anyway, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I tried to make it a little bit different. Um, again, I tried to focus on some characters that we haven't really seen yet. Um, and I would love to know what you guys think. Do you play Marvel Heroes? Uh, who would you like to see in the game? You don't have to work under or operate under my rules of having them never been in the game before. Um, that's just kind of my deal. Um, if there's a character like Wasp or you know Magic, who I think is going to be in the game anyway, or Norman Osborn or whoever it may be, um, you know, if you want to see in the game, then you know, go go for it. I'd love to hear the fitting way to end. Um, if you'd like to see them in the game, uh, then, you know, just let me know. And uh, I'm, I'm very uh, interested to hear what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll catch you later as I uh, figure out what I'm doing. I don't do the age of old time very much, so. Um, all right, cool. <laughs> Super cool outro, right? Alright guys, uh, that's my top five. Let me know what you think. We'll see you.